Yo, what's up guys? It's me again, Captain Blackman here. Back with another powerful, positive, and productive quick video. In this quick video, I just want to talk to you guys about facing reality when you're dealing with women. All right? Dating, relationships, marriages, it don't matter. As a man, when you're dealing with women in general, you want to face reality. You have what you expect and you have reality. As you get older, I'm 28 years old. I've had several heartbreaks. I've been through a lot of deep depression and I've learned that you have what you expect and you have reality. Your job as a man is to learn from the burns, learn from your mistakes, learn from the hard assumptions you've made about women in life and close that gap between what you expect and reality. As you close that gap, you begin to face reality head on, okay? Let me tell you something. When we are young and we don't have much experience when uh, dealing with women, we have a lot of expectations, all right? Those expectations come from the, uh, the programming, you know, the movies, the TV shows we grew up watching, you know, guy meets girl, guy throws rocks up at the window and begs and chase after a woman and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? All of that was bullshit programming that we absorbed when we was younger. And as we got older and we got in the, in the dating world or whatever, we started making these hard assumptions. You know, we have these expectations. We expect the woman to, you know, be by our side all the time and never do this and never cheat, never lie and all this bullshit. That's what you expect. But the reality is that most women do. Most women do. And if you keep riding on what you expect, bro, all you're doing is putting your heart in jeopardy. And if you put your heart in jeopardy, all you're doing is tossing your heart off to a woman that's going to fumble your shit and stomp on it. I'm just telling you, this is the reality. You know, I, I may sound bitter and shit like that. A lot of people think I'm bitter and I need to, I need who hurt me and I need healing and fucking I'm traumatized. It's reality. All right. It's called reality for a reason. Real. R-E-L. It starts with R-E-L for a reason. It's real. Whether you like it or not, whether you believe in it or not. It don't matter if you believe in it or not. All right. A child can not believe in gravity or not be aware of gravity. And if that child walks off a cliff, it's a hundred foot cliff with jagged rocks at the bottom, the child will die. You can't say that gravity killed the child. The child's ignorance to gravity killed the child. Well, the same thing with you as a man when you're dealing with these women. There's a lot of you guys out there that's experiencing a lot of heartbreak, pain, and deep depression because you have these expectations and you develop these hard assumptions or you just believe women are sweet little angels sent from the heavens up above, right? And when you get your fucking heart broken, you can't say the woman did it. You did it to yourself. Your ignorance to female nature, your ignorance to uh, how pergamy did it. You did it to yourself. It's kind of like when you uh, you was younger, right? And you had to uh, touch the stove to learn the reality that, damn, that shit will burn you. Damn. Ouch. That shit burnt me. I'll never forget. Let me tell you something. I will never forget the day that my black ass touched the flame. All right. We was living in this little shotgun house in Mobile, Alabama. I'll never forget. My mama was cooking dinner. All right. Uh, and I don't know why, but my mama had been cooking dinner all of these years. I think it happened when I was like, I forgot how old I was. I know I was young. I know that the stove was almost eye level so it was a little bit higher than my eyes so i was that small okay <laughs> and uh i don't know why i got curious my mama was boiling hot dogs and i looked over there i saw the blue fl the blue flame from the fire on the stove and i got curious and i locked in on it i'll never forget i was in my mama bedroom we lived in a little shotgun house right so i could see the kitchen from my mama bedroom it was the living room my mama bedroom the kitchen uh, my sister room and our room and the lunch room and the bathroom. So it was a straight shotgun house, right? And uh, I'm by my mama bed and I looked over at the stove and I locked in on it and I got curious. You know what I'm saying? I didn't believe that 
that blue flame would hurt me. I walked up to it and I just stuck my hand underneath the pot. I got burnt twice. I hit the pot, right? That bitch burnt me. And then I stuck my hand all the way in the flame. That shit burnt me. That day I learned from the burns. I never stuck my hand in the flame again. Well, let me stop lying. I've played around with it before. I ain't gonna lie. I played around with a, lot, a lighter and shit like that. But I never went and just, you know, I'll never stick my hand underneath a boiling pot of water in between the pot and the fucking flame ever again. Why? I learned from the burns. You feel what I'm saying? I got faced with reality that day. And it's time for you guys to do the same. It's time for you to deal with reality. As in life, you learn from the burns. You're supposed to, you know? So... I hope my video was helpful to you guys. Y'all guys have to face reality when dealing with these women. Women are cutthroat. Female nature is cutthroat. Women don't give a fuck about your struggle. Women don't give a shit about how you feel. All right? If you, if you bitch and complain about something for too long, like your job or some shit like that, women will begin to resent you. She'll start to see you as a bitch. You want to know why? Because she's not your mother. All right? See, a lot of you guys go out here in the world and you expect women to be like your mother. So you go out here looking for your mother and your lover. But the reality is that your lover can never love you like your mother. Because the love that you get from your mother is unconditional. The love that you get from a woman is based on conditions. Nigga, is you useful? If you ain't, fuck you. That's how they think. And she'll stick around because she can... Feel your potential, but if it don't come into fruition fast enough, she gone. That's the reality. Your mama ain't going nowhere. Your mama ain't going nowhere unless she dies or some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? So stop looking for your mother and your lover. That's the reality. The reality is that these women don't love you unconditionally. It's bullshit. Women lie when they say that. All right? The reality is that if she can't use you, you're useless. Goodbye. Or if you show up like a nice guy she's gonna keep you around you're gonna be a placeholder but she's gonna have sex and fool around with the guy that she really likes the guy that makes her uh that gets her emotional gears turning okay the guy that causes conflict in a woman's mind right women love conflict for some reason okay and if you're a nice guy you show up as a nice guy you expect women to enjoy nice guys or want a nice guy, that's your expectation, that's what you assume, soon you will be met with reality. You're going to get smacked in the face with reality. And you're going to realize that your girl has been cheating with the guy that really gets her going. All right? So learn female nature. Understand that what you expect is completely different from what reality really is. All right? So that's my video comment down below what you guys want to see next i hope this is helpful to you guys i hope this video echoes in your heart all right so y'all guys keep shit player stay alpha and stay dangerous